Well, praise God, friends. Thank you so much for going on this 30-day video devotional towards better relationships. I am convinced that 2014 is the year to do relationships better, and I have been so blessed uh, by just sitting with some tremendous men and women, leaders, influencers in uh, really tremendous ways around the world. And we've been talking about my new book called The People Factor. And if you haven't gotten the book after this uh, interview is over, drop what you're doing, download it on your Kindle, get it on iBooks, go to your nearest bookstore, pick it up, because I really believe that God's got a word for you in this book and he wants to change your relationships this year. But today, we are joined by a tremendous man. Uh, he's kind of one of those individuals that's hard to introduce because uh, there's really not enough that can be said about Bishop Paul S. Morton. He is a tremendous hero and leader in our faith, but not just in our faith, in really uh, the kingdom of God. God has used him in some tremendous ways as a pastor, as a singer, as a leader, as a thinker. Uh, and he's just accomplished so much for the glory of God. But his success has also been marked by integrity, which is extremely important. And so I'm so honored, Bishop Morton, that you have decided to join us. Uh, so honored to have you. We're going to talk for a few moments about a chapter that I really believe is near and dear to my heart. And I believe that God ordained for you to weigh in on it. It's uh, a particular chapter, chapter 12, when I talk about kissing Orpah goodbye uh, and the uh, really subtitle to that is recognizing who's in your life for the long term. And my goodness, your legacy, your impact in the kingdom has spanned generations. And so I know that you know about the fact that sometimes as God elevates you or as God takes you to different places, that there are some people that are not meant to go on that journey with you. They were good for a season, but they may not be good for the long term. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Dr. Van Moody, just allow me to say, first of all, and I thank God for you, and I am a bookworm. I love to read. I really love to read. And I am here to tell you that this is one of the greatest books that I have ever read in my life. I'm wow. talking about in my lifetime. When you talk about uh, the people factor and how you break it down, it is just so plain so unique, so special. And uh, yes, in chapter 12, I think that that is so key because this is where a lot of people in life get discouraged because you think that people are supposed to be with you until the end. Yeah. And that's not true. I've experienced that in my own life. Man, people that I've even trained, people wow. that, that have been around me, they caught the things that I taught and then went out and did their own thing, which was all right, because they were only supposed to be there for a season. And that's what I love about this book. Uh, you know, I guess it's like Kenny Rogers says, you got to know when to hold them and you got to know when to fold them. And you break it down. I love how you put together, even with Ruth, Naomi, and of course, Oprah. And this is just so, so, so key because when you look at Ruth to Naomi, yes, that's a lifelong friend, lifelong friend, but not Orpah. Yeah. She was she was not meant to be there forever. I mean, she, hey, her season was over. Her husband was gone. Now I am, hey, I got to move on. I got to do my own thing. So what we have to understand in life, and this book tells it like it is, you talk about building great relationships and really ending bad ones. You break it down, sir. This book is a must have for everybody. I am here to tell you, I'm just so excited about it. I'm going to be teaching on it, sharing with others, because this is amazing and making sure even that our members, even in, in full gospel all around the world, get this book, because I'm telling you, and I'm not trying to pump you up because I do a lot of interviews and I don't want every, nobody ever catch me uh, not telling the truth. This is one of the greatest books that I have ever read because it is definitely going to help people to understand because too many people are depressed today. Yeah. They think that, oh, what did I do wrong? Did I make a mistake because this person left me? No, you got to understand that works. This is good for every pastor because sometimes we think all of our members are there. 
Yeah. For the long haul. No, everybody's not there for the long haul. God to have people there for a season. So as I sing sometimes, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, <laughs> just don't do it without me. But if you got to do it without some others, if that's your will, that's all right with me. Wow. Well, I appreciate it, Bishop. This has uh, meant a lot to me because, you know, I've grown up admiring uh, your leadership and your success and favor. And one of the lessons I had to learn that was a hard one is the one you just mentioned, even in pastoring, you know, you have a shepherd's heart and you want people to be around yes. you for the long term. You know, when people join the church, you're thinking, okay, we're going to be together until <laughs> I die. And one of the greatest things that I had to realize is that some people were not meant to go on that long journey, uh, but that's okay. You know, and being able to really kiss your orpas goodbye to appreciate that they had a place for that season and to not hold on to something uh, longer than you should. And I, I think some of the greatest mistakes leaders make is we try to hold on to people that God is intentionally trying to take out of our lives. Uh, and we got to learn how to let go. And, and I, I'm just honored that you would chime in on that because I know you've seen it. I'm, I can't, you oh, know, the God. stuff that you've accomplished. I've kissed many yeah. Oprah's goodbye. Yes. Because yeah. you have to, you have to, if, even in ministry, if we kept everybody, everybody that we took in, all of us would be in super domes on Sunday, you know, with, with these growing churches. But God doesn't set it up that way. He's trying to let us know. It's just for a season for some people. Those that are meant to be, will be. Our steps are ordered by the by the Lord, and a lot of people don't understand that. So that's why I walk in it. But this confirms it. That's why everybody needs this book, because this confirms, wow, I am on the right track. It's not that I'm a bad person. It's not that I'm not a good leader. It's not that I'm, I, 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 I should be at this level in my life. Some people are just not meant to be in my life and that makes the difference i'm proud of you sir keep it up thank you bishop i so i am so grateful for your willingness to do uh this call with me and to just talk a little bit about it hey we've been taking time just talking about uh my new book the people factor but particularly chapter 12 learning how to kiss your orpas goodbye and recognizing who's in your life for the long term for those of you that are watching this i want to encourage you to do that for 2014 make sure that uh, you know the difference between your Orpas and uh, your Naomi's and the people that are uh, intentional, your Ruth's that will stay with you for a very long time. Thank you, Bishop, for taking the time out uh, to share with us. Dr. Moody, I got us. mine. Now, people, you can't have mine. You got to get yours. You got to get, you can't have mine. I'm keeping mine. This is powerful. Praise Bless God. you. Bless you, Bishop. We appreciate it. Take, Take care. care.